Okay, so hey there guys. So today's video is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me. I tried to film one um, a couple of days ago when I was getting ready for my first day at Lucky and then it made me like extremely late to go there. It's 6 o'clock right now on a Friday night and I'm going to be going out with my best friend Liz in a couple of hours. So I figured I would get ready now <clears throat> because I'm planning on leaving the house not until like almost 8.30 because... Of course, she's delayed and I have a lot more time to get ready now. Um, I did go out to Shake Shack with my family to eat, so I already ate, so I can just dive in and do my makeup now. So I'm going to be using, we're going to be going to karaoke tonight. We're going to go to Jerry and the Mermaid and Lizard Lounge. There are two favorite places to go. And we've made um, a couple of good friends from Lizard Lounge um, that we really um, enjoy talking to now and hanging out with. Um, we're friends with like everybody that works there now. Um, we love going there and sometimes it's actually better to go there than it is to go to Jerry and the Mermaid because they give you a lot more chances to sing at Lizard Lounge. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using mostly new products today. I did do a first impressions get ready with me, but I'm going to be using other makeup products today in this video. Um, I'm going to be using my beloved Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. I can't get enough of this palette. Like, I've been using it so much since I've gotten it. And this is probably my most used eyeshadow palette that I've gotten since I've actually got it. Like, I love it. I'm obsessed. So I'm going to use that. And then I'm also going to use a shade from the Skinny Dip palette from Jouer. Again, this is gorgeous, and I've been trying to rotate this more when I go out. And honestly, I've only been able to wear some of these lid shades only once, so I want to wear one of them that I've only worn once. I'm probably going to do a warm crease and a silver lid because I've been really into just glitter on the eyes and a warm crease when I go out or just like, you know. I really haven't been too into colorful looks lately. So I've been wanting to rotate my glitters a lot more, so I'm going to be diving into this palette as well. So um, I did wear one of these shades yesterday, and I wore also the silver shade that I hadn't worn yet from this palette last week to a concert. So now I want to wear it tonight to go out. So I'm first going to be starting with my transition shade. So I'm going to jump into the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. I love the transition shade that's in here. I use it a lot as a transition shade. Um, usually I've been using ColourPop's Firefly as my transition shade and I, I think I'm actually going to use both. I think I'm going to dive into this one first. And I hit pan on it yesterday. Do you see that? I was so excited. It's just a little bit of the pan but I knew I was going to hit pan on this eyeshadow very quickly because it was like becoming one of my all time favorite transition shades. So I'm just going to make sure my Sephora crease brush is clean. And then I already primed my eyes with the MAC Prep and Prime. And then I just set it with the it Cosmetics Powder. So now I'm going to dive into the ColourPop Firefly shade. And I'm just going to work that in first. I just want to use a bigger mirror because you guys know I can never see anything. So I'm just going to use that. I don't know what is on the actual brush. It's driving me nuts. Okay. So... Yeah, so I'm really excited. Um, I haven't seen my best friend in a couple weeks. I'm also wearing a dress. I'm not going to be wearing this, but I'm wearing like a long maxi dress, so I didn't want to wear it sitting on the floor. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. So I'm just going to work this in the crease. But yeah, I've been trying to work on posting and recording more videos lately. There's even like there's such a long list of videos that I have in mind that I haven't even recorded half of them. And I haven't recorded to get ready with me in like a month or two, so I figured I would record one today. Just sometimes I have to be like in the mood to record to get ready with me because sometimes it's like more work to record than like even favorites videos because like you have to have everything in front of you and like talk and talk and sometimes like you get tired of talking but I do like doing chit chat get ready with me um, when I'm in the mood for it. I wanted to do that on um, Monday and I was working, um, I think like, I'm just going to buff that on the other side as well. I was working from like, I can't remember, 2 to, no, 
I can't remember how long I worked it. Four to eight. I was working four to eight on a Monday, I believe. And I was so late because it was like pouring rain that day. And I like messed up my makeup like in the process of trying to record to get ready with me. And the freaking eyeliner smudged to my crease and it got like all over my crease. And when I tried to fix it, I'm just going to fix this off camera. I just want to see what it looks like. I'm still going to be talking though. When I tried to fix it, the um, makeup remover like just completely messed up the crease. So I had to take off all of it and redo it again. And I was so upset. And I just skipped eyeliner the second time because I was like, I am not going through that again. Um, it was a nightmare. So I had to like rush to work and it was I really wanted to be on time for my first training shift, and of course I wasn't. I'm like really bad with time, um, and of course like I decided to record and get ready with me at 2 p.m., and I had like plenty of time to record it. Like I used to be able to like record these get ready with me's like super quick, and I used to have a lot more time, but now it's just like I feel like I never have time for anything anymore, and I feel like I'd take forever to do everything but of course now today when I'm going out I have like plenty of time but I got like super tired I went out like I said I went out for burgers with my mom and my brother before this and now I'm like super tired and I did sit down for a good like hour and watch some YouTube videos and that 70s show so I might even sit down again for a little while and like take even longer to leave because I don't think she's going to be in patch on till like 9 p.m. Hold on one sec. Sorry, my brother was coming up the stairs, so I just wanted to pause it for a sec. Okay, so now we're going to go into the Urban Decay palette, and we're going to use the shade Chaser. I really like this shade layered over Firefly, and these are so pigmented, you guys. If you guys are looking for, like, something that's not like the Anastasia palette, where, like, it, it doesn't really make sense to me, that palette, honestly, this picks up just as much pigment and they apply so beautifully that like I'm like I'm I'm good not having the Anastasia palette you know like I think that this works so well that I've just been like obsessed with it I really do love this palette it's just such good quality like even Stephanie Nicole who like doesn't normally like the Urban Decay Heat palettes likes this palette so then I'm like, okay, I know I like it. But at the same time, it's like obviously not one person is just going to tell me like what I'm going to like and what I'm not going to like. But it just like kind of confirms that I'm like, I'm not crazy, you know? Like sometimes some, I, sometimes I really love things that people hate on YouTube, like blind crime in general. I love their velveteens and I still think they make the best formula of liquid lipsticks and most people hate that brand, you know? Not because they don't make good products, but because of everything that happened. And it's just like, if you can support Morphe, I can support Lime Crime if I choose to. So, that's what I'm going to continue doing. So I'm just going to make sure that looks good. But I have the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, so I don't find the Subculture palette to be necessary for me. Those are colors that I don't really gravitate towards using. Yes, they're different, but I could probably find... The people have been showing a lot of dupes from Makeup Geek of like the same shadows from that palette. See, this does have, I'm going to show you the kick up on this, but it doesn't really kick up or dust away when you're actually blending them. I don't notice that really at all with these. Like they're pigmented and they'll kick up when you dust them off. When, when you're putting them on your actual crease, they don't do that. Maybe because this color is a little bit lighter, but it kind of brushes up, but it doesn't brush away the color. And that's the difference. But at least they're finally addressing that it was a quality issue. Okay, so I just blended that shade. And you can see that there is fallout here. But, you know, that doesn't really bother me, especially with this, because, like, it doesn't really, like, get all over the place. I don't know what's going on with that palette, but I'm just like, I'm not here for that drama. My color switch is going all over the place. Okay, so now I'm going to dip into Sauce, 
which is, I'm totally pointing in the wrong side, this shade right here. I basically use these two shades, Chaser and Sauced, in my crease like all of the time. And I basically swiped like three times. And then I'm just going to work that into my crease too. With the same brush. I kind of like the layered crease look. I need to do that more often because it really does bring out the colors in my crease more. See how much you get on your brush? Like, these are no joke. And they don't just blend away. They blend beautifully together. And I understand, like, Stephanie Nicole's review of the Anastasia subculture palette. I really do. But it's just like, most people, like, yes, beauty gurus are kind of like being like, yeah, we're going to layer all this shit on top of each other and we're going to show you how bad it is. Most palettes do work that way and do blend like that. And most of these YouTubers are trying to show you because they want to show you like how they actually layer. And which I understand too. And they're showing, you know, that it's not an easily blendable palette. And I've said this before. People that are in a hurry are not going to like sit and blend their eyeshadow for like a million years for something that doesn't like want to blend or oxidize in their eyes and they have to end up redoing their makeup all over again. Like, she doesn't like Jeffree Star and the fact that she didn't really get to the nitty gritty and say that like, hey, there might be an actual quality control issue. Like, she just said, you know, she she didn't really address the comments that Norvina was saying. I'm not really going to get into it too much because this is just a chit chat and read with me. This is not like a subculture palette review. But at least Anastasia is addressing the issue. They're not being like, they were being a little bit shady about it at first. But now I feel like they're really like, hey, like, we don't want to lose our fans. Maybe we actually do have a problem that we need to actually address. So I'm glad that they're taking care of it. Okay, there is like a lot of product that kicks off of here. But again, like since these are more neutral eyeshadows, they're just much more blendable than the Modern Renaissance palette. And I feel like you can get just a much cleaner look out of it. All right, so pretty much done with that. Alright, I want the crease to be really like blown out. Alright, so now I'm going to make it a little bit warmer. As you can see, again, I am getting that kick up there. But again, it just blows away. Doesn't It doesn't like fall out of the pan. It just like brushes to the, a little bit to the, um, the brush holder part. But like when I'm actually brushing it in the pan, like who does that with their brush? Like actually swipes it a lot like this actually does have quite a bit of fallout when you do that but one swipe gets me how much I actually need like I don't really tend to swipe through the entire pan and plus since these are like longer pans usually the naked palettes are I don't do that because it gets too much product in my brush so I'll kind of stop like halfway I won't brush like all the way down so I would never do that with one of those palettes anyway, so yeah, so now I'm going to work this into my crease. This is the shade He Devil, and this is that beautiful reddish color. Like this is, these are the same colors I use normally in this palette, and I just, I can't get enough of them. They're so beautiful. But I also did realize that I didn't really make a video concentrating on using this palette, so that's what I'm kind of doing now. I'm just not using one of them on my lid because I'm going to be using the Jouer color. I might use a base though for the <laughs> Jouer glitter just so it'll stick a little better. Like they're gorgeous, but nothing beats my ColourPop shadows. All right, and we're just going to... To find that crease, and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I can actually see what I'm doing. A 
Like seriously, so pigmented. I'm just gonna finish blending it off camera. All right, so once we're done with that, we're gonna go in with our outer corner shades and I'm gonna, sorry, I was just sniffing the perfume I was, I'm using today. It's a little bit strong. I kinda put on too much. So now I'm gonna be using the outer corner shades and I'm gonna be using Cayenne and Enfuego. I really like mixing those two together. Again, these are like the same shades I use like every time I use this palette. I'm just so obsessed with the mattes in here. I feel like that's why I gravitate towards using this Naked Palette a lot more than the other ones. And plus, I feel like this one's like, you guys know I love warm eyeshadows like so much that this is like my dream to like wear in the summertime and going out and stuff like that because it works for day or night. And since this one has so many more matte shades in it than the other Naked Palettes, I feel like it's so much easier to figure out like what you're going to do with it. A little bit more. I was going to use like a different palette, but then I was like, nah, I want to use this. Because again, I've been like really working on like rotating older palettes and I've been whipping out older stuff that it's like I can find a balance with like using newer palettes at the same time. But this palette, I definitely have been grabbing for the most ever since I've gotten it. I just love it. So beautiful. Alright, let's just see how that looks really quick. Oh, I feel like get ready with me. These are so tiring to film because like I'm constantly getting up checking the damn mirror to see how it's blended because I can't always tell like just sitting on the ground because I don't have the proper lighting like sitting on the floor. Like obviously I have to get up and actually look at the lighting in the mirror. Ooh, they always blend so well. They just blend like seamlessly into each other. Okay, all right, so now I'm going to grab, I think I'm going to grab a base really quick. I think I'm going to use my favorite silver from ColourPop. Like, this is literally my favorite silver eyeshadow of all time. I can find it. Here it is. So I'm going to use um, Liberty as my base. This is my favorite silver shadow from ColourPop, and I'm going to grab the Skinny Dip palette. That's obviously why I did my eyes first, because we're working with glitter. This is what it looks like. I don't think I've used this in a Get Ready With Me yet, so I'm like really excited to dive into it. I did use it, like I think, on my inner corners when I did that Urban Decay Sugar Pill Get Ready With Me, that First Impressions one. But this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. As you can see, I have been using it more often. Especially this skinny dip shade, I'm obsessed with like popping this on my lid for a little bit more of a oomph or I love putting this on my inner corners. And tan lines I like layering with the other shades, but these two gold shades are definitely easier to wear every day than the other shades. The other ones are more like for nighttime. So I'm going to take this shade called Magic Hour. I've only worn this one once. I finally wore this one yesterday in Midnight Swim. It was so pretty. So I'm going to wear um, Magic Hour today. And then I think I'm going to stick Starlight on the inner corners, which is a silver one. This is the one I wore to the concert last week um, for the first time. So I'm so excited to dive into these again. So I'm going to take ColourPop's Liberty, and I'm going to use that as the base. But this, I swear to God, I could wear this silver shadow for the rest of my life and not need another silver shadow because, again, with ColourPop, you don't have to worry about them transferring to the lid, and it's so metallic. Like, it's insane. Like, you really don't have to worry about it transferring. So I'm just going to put that on my lid. Ugh. 
Oh, excuse me. I had the shake. The sh we went to Shake Shack for dinner. As I said, we had burgers. I think I said that like three times already. And we went and got... Obviously, I had a burger, but I also had the chicken dog, which is like a chicken sausage, like a hot, shaped like a hot dog. It's so good. I wanted to make sure I was really full, though, because your girl is broke. I should have, like, put this all over the lid first. All right, I'm just going to do the other side really quick. All right, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with the Magic Hour shade, and I'm probably going to use a brush for that first and I'm going to dip into it. I might pick up my Smashbox primer water to wet it even more. I haven't used a ColourPop base in a little while but I really need to use them more because then I don't have to worry about like coating the lid as much and it transferring as much. So now we're just going to go over that. I don't think it's really going to show up with a brush, so we're just going to go in with my finger. Basically just like a dusting of glitter. Oh yeah. That is pretty. I'm like packing it on. I really want it to be metallic. I'm just going to finish it off camera. Okay, so I went and finished the other eye. Oh, so pretty. And now I'm just going to pop on the brow bone highlight. I'm just going to use this shade Ounce right here. And I'm going to use my crown concealer brush. Because I don't have any other like flat top brush for my brow bone. So I just use a concealer brush. It works just as well. And then I'm going to do my eyeliner off camera because no one wants to see that. I really have been struggling with eyeliner though lately because I haven't had my felt tip liner because I don't own one that's not dried out now. Like I really need to find like a good one. That steel one that I have, it got dried out so quickly because you know I try to use them over glitters all the time and then it ends up being like a freaking mess. It is much easier to apply glitter over these pressed Jouer glitters rather than using the steel ones because with the steel ones it ends up being like a hot freaking mess I'm just gonna blend it out with no products um, To make sure everything's blended properly I just have an itch and then I'm gonna clean up the fallout as well and do my eyeliner so um, I just want to make sure I put this insert back into the actual Jouer palette. I don't know why it's sitting up here um, But the reason why I have extra time Today, um, I was originally going to be leaving at like 6.30, and it's 6.30 right now, um, but the reason why I'm not leaving earlier is because um, she told me that she couldn't get a ferry. I just feel like it's gold in some places and silver in other places, but I think it still looks pretty. Um... She told me that she couldn't get an earlier ferry because, you know, she bought her ferry ticket at, like, 4.30. So, where the heck is the... She, she's coming from Connecticut because she flew in from Georgia where her mom was um, a couple of days ago. And now she's coming on the ferry to see me tonight so we can go to karaoke. So, yeah, so I have a lot more time since she's not taking a ferry till 8 o'clock. She's not going to be on the island before 9, so I'm probably going to leave at 8.30, so I still have, like, two hours. But I still have to, like, get my other stuff together and get my, um, finish my makeup and stuff. So now I'm going to clean up my under eyes and do my eyeliner. Alright, so now since we've cleaned up the face, 
which I still kind of have glitter on my hands. Damn it. So I'm kind of going to just put on a little bit of makeup remover on this tissue and kind of wipe off the glitter on my hands. I swear to God, when I use glitter, it gets everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. And it's still on my hands here. It's all over my pants. Jesus. It's still on this one finger where the ColourPop shadow was. Okay, anyway, we're going to work on the face now. I did line my eyes with the Razor Sharp eyeliner from Urban Decay. So now we're going to prime, and this is pretty much my bulletproof priming technique. I always just use the seal of one step corrector when I know I need to um, wear makeup for a long period of time. This is the new packaging. I showed you guys this new packaging, I believe, in my Sephora Vibe Sale haul. Um, and I finally cracked into my third one of this bottle. So that's the new one. And then I'm just going to be using my Spatulax Primer Water to hydrate my face and to prep it for primer. Okay. What I like about this is that I like that I can just go over eyeshadow and you don't have to worry about your eyeshadow transferring or anything like that. That's why I like using that a little bit more first besides the, um, uh, the Urban Decay one, the Coconut Primer, which I still love, but I haven't been trying to use it as much because I don't want to run out of it. And since I have so much more excess of the Smashbox, I want to use that more. The Smashbox is pretty much a multi-tasking product. Because you can also use it to wet your brush for eyeshadows. Because I did do that off camera as well. I forgot to tell you guys that I did foil the eyeshadow a little bit more. And I wet my brush with my Smashbox Primer Water. So now I'm going in and then put on that Magic Hour shade. So now I'm going in with the Cielo One Step Corrector all over my face. Just to make sure it's all blended. I just love this primer. It's like the best primer ever. Okay. Once we're done with that, we're going to go in with my foundation, and I'm going to be using my Dior Skin Forever Foundation. This is just the foundation that I like using when I don't want something to be, like, too heavy, but I want something that lasts all night. So this is, like, my favorite one for that. And I'm pretty sure I use this in my last Get Ready With Me. And again, don't pump out too much products, because for this, you have to work in sections, because it does set very quickly. I even find that my Urban Decay, when I mix it with the Born This Way, Foundation doesn't set as fast as this one does, so you just have to be careful. I'm just gonna lop it all over this side of my face because I really want some intense coverage today. All right, I need another, like another tissue. Like I swear, I use 10 million tissues when I'm getting ready. So now I'm gonna be using my beauty blender, and the reason why I'm using my beauty blender today, wow, this is too damp. Shit. Oh man. I'm always such a mess when I'm getting ready, especially in these get ready with me videos. Just wanna squeeze it out a little bit more. Okay, that's better. Cause then it'll shear it out too much and I don't really want that. I actually have not used this foundation yet with just an actual beauty blender. So the reason why I'm using the beauty blender is because my Real Technique sponge is kind of wearing out. And I don't really have money, again, to uh, replace it right now. So I've been going back to using this the past couple of days. I almost threw this out, like, a couple, like a month ago. And then I was like, nah, I still want the option to use it. And I'm glad I kept it because I actually really did need it. So, okay. So once we're done with that side, we can move on to the other side. And I'm just going to keep on working it in sections. I'm not going to be doing this the whole time. I'm just going to show you, like, most of what I do with this. I 
I also try to make sure though not to waste this foundation though because it's expensive. I'm trying to wipe it off my hands and it takes me like 10 million years. Okay, so now I'm gonna buff it in again with the Beauty Blender on this side. I do think that the Beauty Blender just blends it out a lot faster because it is it is so bouncy that it kind of can cover your face much faster. That's what I've been noticing when I've been going back to using it again because I haven't used it in a cup like ever since I start, ever since I got the Real Technique sponge and that was in February. So I've only been regularly using the Beauty Blender again for like a week and it's August. And I do notice like the differences. Sorry, I just wanna make sure it's blended. The reason why I'm working quickly is because I don't want it to set too quickly. Okay, let me just check how it looks. All right. Oh my God, it looks really good. Oh, I love this foundation. It just like has a way of covering everything, but it, it just still looks so beautiful on the skin. It's just, I really have come to the conclusion that I really love this foundation. All right, so now I'm just gonna cover my nose, which is also my most annoying part to cover. But I've actually covered really, really beautifully. I'm having a good foundation day. I also think it's because of the cleansers I've been using. Um, since my Lush cleanser like ran out, I've been using the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser sample that I got from like the Sephora birthday gift um, last year. And I really like it. It's really nice for sensitive skin. So now I'm just going to cover my forehead. I also find that the Beauty Blender is a lot easier to slide around your actual face. So I do really like the Real Technique sponge, but I do really like the Beauty Blender still. So now I'm just going to finish off with my neck and I'll move on to concealer. All right, now I'm going to be doing my concealer, but I forgot that I needed to dampen my Beauty Blender again. What I notice about the Beauty Blender is that it absorbs water a lot quicker than the Real Technique sponge, which I kind of like. Because again, I don't like my sponge to be too damp, especially when I'm doing my concealer because I feel like it just absorbs the concealer a lot. I don't know if anybody else notices that. Sorry, I'm just putting on my pants. I'm getting really tired though. Like, ever since I've started getting ready, I'm, I'm really tired. So, yeah, so I'm going to apply my concealer. And I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin um, because I actually haven't used it in a while to go out in. I've been using the Tarte Shape Tape because, again, since I'm running low on certain concealers, I don't want to use up my favorite concealer right away, so I've been using the Tarte Shape Tape instead. And I also really wanted to, like, test it out again. I need to throw these jeans in the wash once I'm done. I'm getting, like, makeup all over them. It's not a good time. What I've been noticing about the the naked skin though is that it does get dry pretty quickly. Like it gets pretty dried out. Like I feel like I have to constantly re-dip, but maybe I'm running out again, but I don't think I am. I just noticed that it's a drier consistency than the Tarte Shape Tape. So I feel like I kind of have to re-dip a lot more, but they're pretty much in the same exact like shade range. I want to make sure I have enough coverage I can and I'm gonna blend it out I look like a crazy person god that is so like much lighter than my foundation but I do really like that look sometimes it just kind of just brings light to my face.
I do notice that this concealer sets a lot faster as well, so you have to work with it a lot faster. <sighs> Blend like you've never blended before, but at least it looks really good. Alright. Probably wrong that I did this side first because the other side has been sitting a lot longer. But I'll probably just finish blending off camera. But it does blend. This concealer blends really nicely with the Beauty Blender. Ooh. I think that's what I've been missing. Because I didn't think that this concealer was looking that great every time I've blended it out lately. I think it has to be blended out with a beauty blender. I don't think it works with the Real Techniques sponge as well. Alright, I'm going to finish blending it off camera. Alright, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to set my under eyes with my favorite under eye setting powder. And that's the Laura Mercier Secret Burning Powder. Sorry, I'm going to make a mess if I don't like hold it over here. It was, wasn't really coming out before. Really have to tap it off sometimes because it can be like a powdery mess, but I love it. Please don't get foundation all over your pants. And I'm just gonna set it with my Real Techniques brush. I use the same brushes, you guys, so sorry if I didn't say like my other brushes, but every other brush I use is mostly Real Techniques and Eco Tools, so this is my Real Techniques brush. I really need to try and use this to um, do. That is a lot of powder. But I want to make sure everything is set. Okay. And then I'm just going to set my forehead really quick because I do find that that is the part that of my face that creases the fastest. So I'm just going to use my Eco Tools powder brush and just brush over that. What I like doing is I like setting my face a little bit after I finish doing my like, finish up my eye makeup, which is what I'm about to do right now. Um, but I like doing it after because I find that if I do it at the same time as when I do my foundation, I find that my foundation looks streaky. So what I like to do is stipple on my powder after I'm done finishing up my eyes. And I like that result better. But you do you if you do it differently. I just like prefer doing it that way. So now I'm going to blow out my lower lash line. I really have been loving doing that lately. I don't know why I don't do that more often when I just wear eyeliner on my waterline. I really need to start like smudging eyeshadow on the lower lash line because it looks so much better. See, I thought I could film later. And I've already been spending an hour doing this, but I'm almost done. I just have to finish up my eyes and then everything else like comes into place and then I'm going to change and do my lip. So, um, I think I'm going to take this He Devil color and this Cayenne color and I'm going to smudge those both on the lower lash line. This He Devil color is probably going to be very pigmented. Okay, I need my mirror and I'm going to use this little MAC brush. I love using this brush to smudge out my lower lash line and for my inner corners. And I'm just going to take that underneath. Oh my god, these eyeshadows are so pigmented. But I also love doing this when I don't really wear eyeliner, especially since, again, I don't have a decent eyeliner to... Because I'm not going to, like, bother with liquid eyeliner all the time, especially, like, if I'm just like applying it for nighttime and I already have, like, my eyeshadow done from, like, work or something. That's like a pain in the ass. So I'll just do this and it makes everything like just come together. Yeah, I forgot to mention in my favorites video that I haven't been wearing like top at lash liner all that often because it's just like too much work when 
you have to wear like a liquid eyeliner. I really can't see what I'm doing. I have to finish this up here. It's starting to get dark in my bathroom. Oh my God. There's like translucent powder all over my shirt. I look like a freaking carpenter for makeup right now. Like I just came from the makeup factory and like I got makeup all over my myself. I want to really make sure this is like a dark red brown smoky under eye. Obsessed. And then I'm going to take, um, you know what, I think I'm going to take En Fuego actually. Um, I think that will go a little bit nicer. And I'm just going to take that on the outer corners. Right, let's see how that looks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. oh, love it. Just need a little bit more. I should be done with like getting it ready and stuff by like 7:45, and then I'll just like pack my bag and go. Because usually 99.9% .9 of the time when I'm like meeting up with her and patch off, I don't bring makeup with me for the next day. Unless I know we're going out like the next night. But usually I don't stay like two nights in a row there usually because I see my white friend the next day. Alright, so now I'm just going to take my waterline eyeliner, which is always Urban Decay's Zero. And I'm going to line my waterline. But look how pretty that looks. Oh, love it. And I'm just gonna... But I didn't apply makeup until 6 p.m. today, so I wanted to make sure I went all out. Sometimes it's like really hard to look into a mirror like this when you wear contacts. Because you're like looking down. All right. All right, and now we're going to finish the inner corners. And I'm going to take the Skinny Dip palette again, and I think I'm gonna take that Starlight color, and I'm gonna pop that on the inner corners. These are very glittery, so. <coughs> Ugh. I want to make sure I look down for a little bit because I just reapplied my eyeliner again. I just want to make sure it doesn't go everywhere. Okay, so now we're gonna Oh, that is so pretty! Okay. Oh my god, I'm like obsessed. <laughs> hey, let me finish it off camera. Okay, so I did my mascara off camera just to save some time. I used the Dior Show Maximizer 3D Lash Primer Sample. I've been really liking this to prime my lashes. And then I went in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational just because I wanted to use it. And then I used the Mac Center Give a Black Lash. I've shown that on my channel like 10 gajillion times. And now I'm just going to set my face with the Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. I'm tired, man. And I feel like I'm doing my makeup for like a century. And it's like so dark now. Thank God my mom isn't here to be like, oh, you're gonna have rain on and blah, blah, blah. She's always, and she's always like raining on my parade on like what 
um, shoes I should be wearing and she like drives me nuts. All right, and now I'm going to bronze my skin. All right, so I went in and bronzed up the skin off camera just to save some time. I feel like I've been doing my makeup for a century and I'm getting like sick of it. So now I'm gonna go in with my blush. I'm gonna be using one of the Urban Decay Afterglow blushes and I'm gonna use the shade Indecent. I really have been trying to rotate my blushes more, but I just felt like using this one today. <coughs> I really love this formula. They last a really good amount of time on your skin. Like, just as long as the Becca blushes do. And sometimes I like doing my bronzer and blush and highlight even more off camera because I can't usually see anything when I do it like this. So I always have to get up and fix it anyway, so hold on. Ooh. Why is my door not closed? It should be closed. Okay. They just apply so easily and they're just so pretty. I love this formula. Like, I love that. And this blush looks like it would be like super orange and it's not. It's like a super subtle PG blush and it's so gorgeous. Like, every time I wear it, it's like an apricot, light apricot shade. So pretty. All right. It's just subtle and doesn't like overpower anything. All right, and then for the highlight, I'm gonna mix two together, but I probably don't need to do this, but I really wanna use my Ofra um, Beverly Hills highlighter color wheel thing. And I'm probably gonna use the two gold shades since I wore gold. And I'm gonna use a little bit of the Too Faced Blinded by the Light highlighter, cause I want like a little bit more, I want more of an oomph with the Ofra one. And the Ofra ones are like my go-tos for going out usually, especially when I wear an, a warm glittery eye. But my best friend got this for me for my birthday and I have been using it recently. Um, I finally dug it out and started using it and I actually really like it. So I'm gonna put this on first. I can see anything, which I really can't. I'm gonna take more and put it on the other side. Even on the side that I have more lighting, I still can't see anything. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull you guys up here because I really can't see. Like, I can't see friggin' shit. So I'm gonna put you guys up on the counter with me. Sorry for the shot. There's like mad, mad amount of water up here. So I'm gonna move my computer up here and I'm gonna show you guys here instead. I should be able to see a lot better here. I'm gonna take this mirror again. Yeah, now I can definitely see better. And I'm going to open this again. I could do it like a normal person. Probably should shoot more like this. It might be a lot easier for me to see. And then I can like move around and like grab everything and not like constantly have to get up and down. So I'm gonna apply that first. Even though it's not really doing much. It's not really picking up all that much. That's why I'm going to go in with the other one too, but let's just finish applying it. I'm like really digging into the pan and I'm not really getting that much. Sometimes it shows up really pretty and sometimes it doesn't. It kind of varies sometimes. Like it's pretty. You can see that it, it's pretty, but it's just like not enough for me. It's like way too subtle. It brings... It, it picks up a pretty color, but I'm sure that this one's going to completely overshadow it. So now I'm going to take, I'm going to take this lighter one first. Do you see how much pigment comes off? So I have to usually blow it off and then I apply it. Like, this is going to be like on another level. 
I'm going to try and layer it. I'm not going to try and pile on too much. I want like a couple of different colors. I don't know why this side. Oh, yeah, there we go. I see it. Yeah, I thought I wasn't really picking up, but it really is. It just, whoa. That's a lot. <laughs> like you barely have the top of your brush in it and it it like just is so beautiful like you barely need any of it you see how much it adds like it's friggin nuts these are like for people that don't um these are definitely not for people that don't like really pigmented highlighters but this gives you like a blinding glow and now i'm gonna take the gold which is this one right here this is so gorgeous and I'm just gonna press my brush in there, not taking too much. And I'm gonna just pop it on. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like, it like looks wet. But it's so pretty. I just wanna see how it looks when I pop it on in the actual mirror. Like, no joke, my reaction to this every time is, oh my god. Like, it's just beautiful. And now I'm just going to put just a little bit on my nose, not too much. I, like, barely tap it. Like, you really don't need... It's, like, crazy how little you need of this. I'm just going to highlight up there. And yeah, that's pretty much all we need. I'm just gonna put on a little bit more of that yellow shade, just so it can like really be shapop and, and blend seamlessly. I heard that on Jordan Byers' channel, shapopin, and now I like can't stop saying it. It's shapopin. <laughs> like what else, what better way to describe this highlighter as shapopin? So, and now I'm just going to go over everything with my hourglass powder. And then we are finally done. I'm just going to fill in my brows off camera because that's boring. And then we'll apply the lip after I'm dressed. Because I'm about to go put my dress on and I'm going to throw some of my overnight stuff in a bag. Because I am going to be sleeping over. Because now her other apartment is like completely cleared out. So now me and her can finally like use it. We're like so excited to like just like throw parties and stuff there. <laughs> Cause before she needed to use it for her mom, because her mom like was being taken care of there, but now she's being taken care of somewhere else. Um now we like that apartment's empty. I'm just applying a little bit more blush. Okay, and now we're just going to set my face. Just see how the, I feel like I need more blush. I feel like some of these foundations are like so high coverage that sometimes like it kind of blends away the blush a little bit. So I feel like you need to pile it on. And also when I like set my face with the hourglass powder, sometimes it blends away the blush a lot. So now I'm going to be setting my face with the NYX Dewy Skin Mist. I love this stuff. Mm, uh. Honestly, I love setting spray. And it really does make your makeup look so beautiful. And honestly, I really do find a difference from when I wasn't wearing it. And when I do wear it, it really does make your makeup last like at least a couple like at least two more hours than when you don't wear it. Like if I'm going to be wearing it all night, I don't have to worry about it like completely blending away unless I'm like sweating my ass off in the city. So now I'm going to finish my brows and then I'll do my lips when I'm, after I'm dressed. All right, so now I'm going to do my lips and I went in with the NYX Lip Primer and then I went in with Colourpop's Poison and now I'm going to like to line my lips, the lip liner, and now I'm going to be going with Max Ruby Woo for my lipstick.
And I'm just going to finish it up off camera. Alright you guys, so this is the final result. I really love how the makeup turned out tonight. Um, it actually pulled together really beautifully, so I'm actually really happy with my makeup look. Um, Um, sorry, I'm just texting my best friend, but I really like how the warm crease looks with the silver lid and the sparkly inner corners and the smoked out lower lash line. I decided not to wear a dress. I went with a bodysuit instead from BB, and I went with BB jeans, black jeans, and a BB leather jacket because I realized that I haven't worn this bodysuit out like in a long time, so I wanted to wear it out tonight. Um, I'm thinking about wearing the maxi dress that I was thinking about wearing tonight. I'm thinking about wearing that on my birthday or possibly to the Gaga concert. So I wanted to wear this tonight because I haven't worn this in like forever. So yeah, that's it. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, CW819, and my Twitter is PokerFace819. And my Snapchat is PokerFace819. I really have to go because I'm going to go to her house now so I can meet her. So yeah, that's it. Bye, guys.